From the Winnell Newsroom at 1, families have begun fleeing part of the Gazan city of Rafah after Israel warned it's about to launch a new offensive there. It's dropped leaflets telling residents to move to an area further north where it promises food and shelter. Israel has been warning for weeks it plans to attack Hamas targets in Rafah. Military analyst Sean Bell says it could happen within days. It would be a very difficult military operation. I mean, the density, people, 1.4 million people, it's a lot of people in a small area. How on earth a military operation would differentiate the civilian population from the hostages, from Hamas and from their own soldiers? Rishi Sunak admitted that the Tories may not win the next general election. The Prime Minister suggested to The Times that the UK could be on course for a hung parliament, following disappointing results in the local ballots. But he also claims voters don't want to see Labour propped up in Downing Street by the SNP or smaller parties. Conservative MP Maria Caulfield says it's not a lost cause. The vast majority of our voters that voted for us in 2019 stayed at home. They didn't switch to Labour, they didn't switch to reform. And that shows that they haven't really been tempted by other parties, but they need us to deliver on the economy, on the NHS. The founder of breast cancer charity Copperfield has died at the age of 38. Chris Halenga was diagnosed with the illness 15 years ago, campaigning for greater awareness ever since. A statement from the organisation's website says she wouldn't want anyone to see her death as tragic though. Last year, she threw a living funeral where guests were invited to sign a cardboard replica of her coffin. Single-sex toilets are going to be required in new restaurants, offices and shopping centres in England. Women and Equalities Minister Kemi Badenoch says a law change will end the rise of gender-neutral facilities, which she claims deny privacy and dignity. Universal toilets will still be allowed in addition to single-sex spaces or in very small locations. And on to sport. Tottenham look like they're missing out on the Champion League qualification after a 4-2 defeat to Liverpool at Anfield. They remain seven points adrift of fourth-placed Aston Villa in the Premier League. Villa's 1-0 loss at Brighton didn't end up proving too fatal for their chances of making it onto Europe's top club competition. Chelsea remain in with a chance of the Europa League after thrashing London rivals West Ham 5-0. But Manchester United condent those hopes by going back above them in tonight's game with Crystal Palace. British driver Lando Norris has his first Formula One victory after winning the Miami Grand Prix. The McLaren racer stage-dived into his winning teammates after crossing the line ahead of championship leader Max Verstappen. Mercedes pair Lewis Hamilton and George Russell finished sixth and eighth, respectively. And finally, Oli Alexander says the language used against Eurovision contestants has been very extreme. The singer, who will represent the UK and Sweden this coming week, has rejected calls for him to withdraw over the war in Gaza. He's told a documentary he respects fans' rights to boycott the show, and the decision to continue to participate was very hard. That's the latest. I'm Nicolette Grace.